Hi, I'm Brian Davis. Welcome to my channel, Brian Davis Scuba. This short video is about the Hawksbill turtle, of which I've been lucky to see quite frequently. According to the WWF, the Hawksbill um, turtle population has declined by 80% over the last 100 years. There was the, there's only five main populations left worldwide and only a thousand nesting females. So bearing that in mind, when you see one, obviously, it's quite special. Diving the Marion recently, we saw a beautiful Hawksbill, and I thought I'd just make this video on the Hawksbill to raise awareness of its status as a critically endangered species. I'm also pleased to report that the UAE is doing a lot to save turtles, in particular the Hawksbill turtle, and you can see in the links below some of the things that they're doing. So hopefully the Hawksbill is going to be with us for a lot, lot longer and populations will re-establish themselves. Thanks for watching. It was an absolute delight to see this Hawksbill turtle on the Marion Express. They are a critically endangered um, species of sea turtle, which makes it even more rewarding when we see one. They grow up to about 150 pounds, approximately 70 kilos in weight, and up to 35 inches or around 90 centimeters long. Their preferred food is sponges, and, and they will use that beak to get out sponges in reefs and up on wrecks. Um, they are omnivorous, so we'll also eat mollusks, marine algae, crustaceans, sea urchins, fish, and jellyfish. To identify a hawksbill, really you need to look at the shape um, of its beak. Um, unlike the green sea turtle where their beak's inverted, you can see their beak is pronounced and they have two pairs of prefrontal frontal scales. Female hawksbills, like other sea turtles, will migrate back to where they were born to lay their eggs. Um, they normally lay their eggs on beaches. The UAE government is taking a lot of effort to save sea turtles, in particular green and hawksbill, which are critically endangered. They currently have a three-year plan for the conservation and protection of turtles. This, I'm sure, will lead on to further plans which will bring populations back here in the Gulf. I've included in, in under the description link to the UAE government's plan and also to some other interesting reading which shows some of the projects which are going on locally.